Tonight, we are hitting the road to see what obstacles you may hit when the Orange Line shuts down in three days. Now, shuttle buses are a big part of the plan to get people around. But what does that shuttle bus setup really look like? As we continue our in depth nightly coverage of this unprecedented 30 day shutdown, Christina Rex shows us stop by stop how people will be getting around. Christina. Yeah, David, we know there are two shuttle bus routes for the Orange Line shutdown. The first one going from Haymarket up to Oak Grove, the other one going from Back Bay down to Forest Hills. Now, we wanted to actually ride one of these routes and see how traffic will be impacted and how drivers will be hit just as hard as people who usually take the train. We started at Haymarket, the stop where the shuttles will make trips around the block as they turn around to head north. The already busy area is loaded with tourists on the outskirts of the North End in Faneuil Hall. And now dozens of Yankee buses will fill these painted bus only lanes. Next stop, North Station. Then it's through the Leverett Circle and over to the next spot we caught up with some drivers. The Museum of Science garage, placed right along the Orange Line shuttle route, popular for employees at nearby Mass General. I think there was emails sent out, but I don't take the Orange Line, so I ignored them. <laughs> Many workers heading to their cars hadn't thought about how the tea shutdown would impact their commute on the road. I'm definitely going to be more traffic. I mean, there's already enough, so it's just going to make it worse. We usually leave pretty early. We leave at like 6 in the morning and then we leave now. So, I mean, I feel like rush hour isn't as bad, but now with the orange line closed, it might impact our travel a little bit. Continuing on our route, as we moved further from Boston, past busy Sullivan Square Rotary, the road started to clear. More lanes available for big buses near Wellington Station and into Malden, where we stopped at Malden Center. Anything the government uh, does, they usually do inefficiently. Plenty of people drive to this lot, and they have little faith their commute will be easy, with the T shuttling tens of thousands of passengers on these city streets. Rounding out the shuttle bus trip at the Oak Grove T station. This is where the buses will turn around again to head back to Boston. Drivers along this corridor ready to brave busy roads for the next month. I live through the big dig. You know, talk about driving issues. <laughs> And as you can see, we were only able to ride the northern shuttle bus route for the Orange Line. We do have maps of all of the shuttle bus routes for the Orange Line, as well as for the Green Line extension during this shutdown, available on our website. That's cbsboston.com. Again, the shutdown starts this Friday at 9 p.m., goes until September 19th. Live at Haymarket Station, Christina Rex, WBZ News.